Hi all, welcome to Ignite Career YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be diving into the exciting world of data visualization by integrating Grafana with PostgreSQL. Whether you are a developer, data analyst, or simply curious about data visualization, this tutorial will walk you through the step by step process of connecting PostgreSQL to Grafana and creating stunning dashboards. So initially, I will just go to my PG admin. So this is my setup of PostgreSQL where I am having a database over there named as weather data. And inside this, I'm having some tables. Uh, if I run it all over there, it it will be having some data related to weather data, which is having some temperature, minimum max temperature, precipitation, snowfall data, weather data, wind direction, speed, wind speed, kind of data will be the over there. So what I am planning to do is like, I just want to integrate this uh, PostgreSQL instance, PostgreSQL database with my Grafana instance which is running inside my this PC itself. So what I'm doing is like, I will just guide you step by step how to integrate the PostgreSQL with Grafana dashboard. So this is my Grafana instance. Okay, uh, so initially the first step will be the data source creation. So the data source will be the primary thing uh, which gives the data or which makes Grafana to pull the data and show it over in the Grafana dashboards. So uh, I do have make some connection. This is my PostgreSQL connection. And I will just guide you through how to configure it. Okay. So you guys can see over here, this is already configured data source of PostgreSQL server. And here I have given my post URL of PostgreSQL server. And the PostgreSQL as well as my Grafana instance both are running in same server. I have given localhost and colon port of the PostgreSQL server. The second thing is the database name. As you guys have already seen over here. This is my database, which is holding the data of weather uh, information. So this is the thing I'm going to planning to visualize using Grafana. And the database name should be the uh, weather data. In this scenario, it's weather data. And the, the second step will be authentication, where we do need to give the username password of PostgreSQL instance as well as uh, this TSL. If you are uh, using some secure mechanism using SSL or TSN mode, you just need to give your certificate root file, client keys over there. Since I'm not uh, using any kind of authentication like security mechanism, I have just disabled it and I have given my username of my gra uh, Postgre instance, PostgreSQL instance, as well as password. That's it. So once it is done, there is nothing much this configuration uh, to do or do something additional settings or uh, selection of version of PostgreSQL, what will be the minimum time interval. And these are some generic things over there. Uh, okay. If all things goes well, if we give save, okay, save test it will pop up database connection is okay. So once you get this database connection is okay, your Grafana instance as well as PostgreSQL instance got connected. Now the second step in this video is visualizing the data, weather data from PostgreSQL using the widgets of Grafana panel. For that, uh, I'm going to dashboard which is this is one of the dashboard which i have already created with the data 
the, from consuming from my PostgreSQL instance. And this is pretty similar. Like, uh, I will just show you editing one widget in the panel, in the dashboard, how I integrated the data uh, from the PostgreSQL with the uh, widgets over here. If we go there, we just need to select the data source. So currently, I'm only having one data source. These are some simulator data sets, which will be pre-built in Grafana instance. And I'm selecting my PostgreSQL server over here. And this is something a builder query. Like you just, you just need to select the tables and choose aggregation and just run query. You will be getting the data over there. And they do also a code mechanism where like a PostgreSQL SQL query, you can just give the query over there and run it inside. So in here, I am using currently builder mechanism. Okay. So whether I can see my table over here, which is in here, if we go there in tables, this is my table inside the database, the data, and it will be automatically populating here if we have chosen the correct database. From weather data table, and these are the columns which we have seen it over here while running. Okay, I will just show it again. Okay, these are the tables, whatever I use, I'm uh, having date, time average, time max, time minimum, and the same thing, date, time average, time minimum. These are the tables over here. Okay, so from here, just select the column and just uh, give it a run query. You'll be getting the value over there. Okay, here, this is the panel of maximum temperature. What I have chosen is temperature average. So I'm just rolling back to my older configuration. Just run query. We'll get the query all over there. And using the data from PostgreSQL, this is how we, I, we have integrated to Grafana. And that's how you integrate Grafana with PostgreSQL for powerful data visualization. I hope this tutorial help you to get started on your own project. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with anyone who find it helpful. And of course, subscribe to Ignite Careers for much more tech tutorial and tips. Got questions, feedbacks? Drop them in the comments below. I would like to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.